So this is just a quick video to encourage you to share your thoughts for the ongoing DEFRA landscape review that has a cutoff date of the 9th of April. That's just in a few days. Basically, the findings of this review have got the potential to remove our already restricted access to the trails that we've got in England, Wales and in our national parks. You need to respond to this either by the survey or by sending the email, ideally both. Now I'm going to put the link in the description for the email that you need to send to and for the survey as well. Now in terms of the survey, the general consensus is that questions 13 through to 17 are the important ones. Um, a lot of the other questions are quite convoluted, I didn't really understand them, but 13 through to 17 I did answer and basically we're voting for um, no more enforcement powers, no more legislation and no more restriction. Now I'm going to read out my email response just to give you a bit of inspiration basically, but please don't copy it verbatim, this type of survey doesn't like a, a copy and pasted response. Hi, I'm responding to the DEFRA Landscapes Review, specifically with regards to the motor vehicle access to unsealed roads and byways open to all traffic in England, Wales and in our national parks. The use of motor vehicles on legal unsealed roads is equally valid as any other activity such as walking or mountain biking in the way that people enjoy our national parks. Organisations such as the TRF and their local groups are actively involved in maintaining the trails and all members have a code of conduct that all riders agree to when using them. The use of motor vehicles on unsealed roads is an important part of the local community and its economy. This sort of activity brings visitors to the area and is important trade for our local businesses. The ability to enjoy the national parks on a motorcycle contributes to mental health and to our appreciation of the national parks. For people with disabilities, the use of a 4x4 vehicle may be the only way they could access some of the stunning landscape that we have that is only accessible via unsealed roads. Furthermore, as we've seen elsewhere and over time, the removal of rights of access, more enforcement and more restriction will only ensure more illegal activity in our national parks. But this is really crunch time and alongside others in the motorcycle industry and others that enjoy riding trails, we really want to encourage you to have your say on this really, really important matter. Look, at the end of the day, there's other people out there that want to ban the use of motorcycles and other vehicles on our green lanes. So it's really important that we stand up for our rights and make sure that we can keep riding motorcycles on these trails tomorrow, but in years to come as well.